What's going on YouTube? It's me and today we're going to be looking for unintended chains from Lunap. So I think this is a really great chains. Um, they're actually giving us here um, 3 IP addresses and we need to be do here like um, real life looking scenario. Um, too much enumeration, creating a password, doing something different, attacker escape, uh, too many things as well as, um, as always, you know, so uh, um, that, that's really great. So um, let's start it with here the MF scan. So after we dumping all IP addresses, MF scan is over here. Uh, we saw here definitely it's uh, working here on um, the web server on the AD port. So it means we need to be running here burp suite and then let's visiting what's going on on the AD port. So another things to hear you have to be now on this first IP addresses um, there is running right now here on um, Kerberos. So it's look like look like a here at DC and I added this on the B, um, DC command. So uh, at this just running here FTP and SSH. So um, let's visit in here on the open browser and then let's see what's going on here right now. So um, let me go giving here and it says are you cuffed us. We are working something absent please back in after the, this one. And then we already got a here web unintended that will nap for um, the B house file. So let's try to be added this on or um, etc and host file. So uh, we just have to be giving like that. And then after that's all, so we can give right now uh, web dot unintended dot woolnap. So um, let's try to be visiting here um, HTTP and then web unintended dot woolnap. So it's um, redirect us somewhere, but it's really cool because we can do right now um, the FFUF for um, which um, a, a, any other things here maybe we can find successfully. So um, let's go is over here and they're looking for FFUF. So which one we can treat for FFUF? It's actually on the HTTP and then we are starting here with this um, the web unintended that will nap and um, looking for um, giving here a subdomain. So we are fuzzing here um, to be instead of the uh, with web and fuzzing on unintended that will not. So if I'm going to start in here, it's giving me too many size. Um, so we can um, display this size here with dash FC and doing this command. And then we already saw um, funny here chat and code. Um, let's try to add this on my um, host files too. So let's see chat that unintended that will not code that um, intended um, does it look like correct yeah I think so um we got a here um two other subdomains so let's visiting first here the code and it will be um, redirect as you hear Gitia and the second one is look like here the chat and then let me try to be go here chat and it's working on matter most than as we can see is over here right now um to be here, uh, we got to here explore and the Juan DevOps is over here. It's actually, we can visit thing. Then um, you have to be checking for comments and branch. So let's looking for uh, some comments. So it's for, for example, remote WordPress and a link a new tab and uh, it will be redirect as you hear. Um, there is nothing look like um, important idea um, or important information here. So um, let's go here and then we have successfully got here something. So it will be seen as right here SFT password and then SFT user. So uh, I think we can add them on our files. So um, it's not look like uh, cool for looking. So let's see. So I think it's the for just password will be available to us. Um, it's because um, to be user they are using here FTP and user and the, for the password the actually user is over here so um, does it look like a correct one right now um, let's try to be added this on or um, to be using for FTP and then um, we are just now here FTP running on this IP addresses and let's see okay so we can successfully add it here um, give this FTP and then with this password let's see so as you can see here uh, we got it here login failed so let's exit here 
and then we can do here right now FTP user for SSH and um, FTP user I'm um, trying to be go here on um, the second IP addresses here um, let's look like our first target so let me say here yes and then um, what about if I'm giving here um, with this password so um, it will be show you here So um, this service allow SFTP connection only and connection for close for us right now. Um, so um, let's see, um, can we do for same thing um, SSH instead of um, SFTP? Um, let's see. Okay, so we get it here as um, again is it's asking as a password, and then let's try to be login here. Um, we had um, successful login on SFTP. I know it says or um after ls so we can go here um ftp user and then ls la um so uh, we have a guy here nothing so there is nothing look like um important here um but it's in the repo um if you can check it one more time so um you will be understanding here and what's going on right now and you can actually use it for proxy chains to be um send your command or dash e with um to be password on ssh so if i'm gonna again go here devops you will be see here um, on the branch the, for example try to be go here and if you found it's working my sql right now is over here, over there so if it's working my sql on this 3306 uh, we can try to be sending here um the with the tunnel um let's see ssh dash n uh, ftp user so it's our user right now and then we are trying to be connected here this one it's actually and um, if there's I'm um, running um, my SQL so we can try to be sending here uh, on this IP um, with the local host with this port so let's try to add it so let's see so it's asking as a password right now and um, let's try to be give it this password and um, so it's not hit back you here right now, but um, if you're trying to be go here on um, my SQL dash hash and I'm giving you IP addresses dash you with the password root. So um, you will be see here you're successfully logging here as um, to my SQL. Um, after you check in here um, databases, then you will be see here um, some databases over here. So is GTL look like a different? So let me say use GTL and um, um, so we can after that say um, show tables and looking for someone so um it's asking so we have to be given like that um show tables so it's getting here too many tables is over here right now and i'm not sure is it working successfully so looking for them all and we are trying to be looking for um let's see for example select um we can looking for um on this docker not wordpress but um, could be somewhere something here to be um, understanding. So, for example, um, let's checking for update. So we got it here. Nothing. Um, this one. So after Docker um, WordPress, um, maybe we can find here someone successfully because it's um, we are right now on the um, MySQL. Um, let's see. Is it gonna be showing us here um two many things is over there for now um that i think uh we can try to be understanding here um at this port and then what's going on for example um the for my SQL password for wordpress password 2024 um, but it's important things here what kind of um things they are regretting because we are already here um accesses so for for example, uh, we can check it for owner, name, name and description, and from so we can check it here um to which one we can try to build. For example, it's repository will be fine. So um you will be getting here join um developers and join handbook right now. So we already get it get it here on the from repository, um um. So there's some um, DevOps is over here, but we have no accesses right now on home backup. So um, let's actually try to be access here home backup. To be get here, select email and the um, past wd and the past wd hash and uh, 
So I just need to be ASCII here on the bit algorithm and the salt and is that mean for let's looking for user um, so it's need to be like oh, to be so yeah so we are gonna get it here on two hash uh, with successfully actually um, this could be or the way to be get it here um, administrator backup then I think we can looking for um, atmosphere backup for to be here um, um, to be root user as like that um, you can check it and try to be corrected it right now um, that it will be maybe give you here um, to be hash from user so it's like a, or um, the hash for administrator and um, then you will be say understanding here how, how we can actually crack it um, this will be your the first way to be do it but uh, another way you can just try here um, which one is really easy so we can update the uh, here um, repository again um, with effects private set is private will be equal here zero then you will be sending here um, as a one right so where ID giving here and then um let's see to set um let's see is it work right now because it was work my first time nope so let's give it here for one two three four five six so is it not look like a book? Okay, so where ID, let's give like um, seven right now. So it's um, batching right now and successfully running. So we are successfully added here um, as an admin. And then we got it here, home backup, not needed to be um, accessed here with administrator. But you can try to be crack this hash uh, with change with it on the hash cut. And it will be hit you back ever all the repository is over here. Um, I did not because it's not needed so we just need to be get it here um, to be home backup bash history and then you will be see here you're successfully get it um, to be password for John and unintended so um, you can try right now trying to be login here um, to be SSH and um, it will be great for you here but it's not need to be creating here because we are um, already know before so there is something running on the um so where was it in mattermost <clears throat> so let's try to be logging with this um we have to be changed with vulnap and then let's try to be logging here and if it's work and then let's check it with this um password also um let's see so after we trying to be logging here and we saw we can log in here successfully and then you can check it for in the feedback and then the apps and then see ADMs is over here so if you check if you can check it here the the apps then you will be see here um, name birth year is a good password then so is it asking for the ABBS so when we saw here um, his username is equal here AB um, unintended that will map right now um, so and we got it here the hint and it says our for us name and birth year is a could be um the great password so we can right now trying to be creating here the password uh, with the birth year and the name so um let's try to be logged here and then um, creating here um password so um I'm I'm gonna go here and the four I in using four range and then you can just give it here like that. So um, let's start it, it's in um, 1950 and I give you here that dot and then which you want to be um, ending it. So um, let's ending it with this. Um, so do echo. I want to be creating here um, the password. So um, I think we can choose it here AB. Um, let's give you here I. So um, we are trying to be giving here or payloads. We'll be just um, creating with them. And then after it's done, um save it as a b um pass.txt 
So if I'm gonna try to be catty here, um, AB pass that txt, and we already saw we here, um, it's creating pass for us like that. So um, let's creating same thing for um, just changing here AB with capital A, and then added this for added in so we column. Um, let's try to be at this also, and then let's see um, how it's look like or password list. So does it look like correct right now? So we can try to be brute first here because we are already got it here um, to be username. And then let's see what's going on, what's look like um, to be um, login here. So I'm um, trying to be give it here first my um, to be username and then give it like that. Um, sorry, um, it's look like it'll be like here. Um, why is give it like that? So um, HTTP, no need it, A ABB unintended that will nap. So with the, for the password, for example, give the password and go for intercept zone and the login pages here. Um, not like that. So for what it's and then this is or to be a repeater, send it on repeater and this is all the login page here on this request. So they are using here um to be application JSON for content type, and then we can send it as, as a data and can do here um brute first as a for sure in trader will do it, but it will be really um to be um slow. So we need to be using here FFUF again. So if you're ready. So we can try like FFUF and then give it here dash V for the B wordless. I want to be give it here wordless for AB pass.txt and if we have to be giving right now on um, to be login pages over here. So um, it's maybe it's not work on the chat and unintended that will nap. So you have to be checking here Mattermost um, the port. So um, the, um, the you will be see here Mattermost is working on AD65. Um, if we're trying to be go here one more time and then let's copy this and go over here and then let's add it here AD um, 65 and then you will be um, redirect here and matter most here one more time. So I'm um, trying to be added here on my um, to be with this um, my actual command and then give this um, directory here successfully again and um, it will be equal here on API. So then after that, you have to be giving dash x um, which method you are giving here. We are using here the post method. And then the easy way is um, you have to be giving your um, the content type is over here, the host. So um, we always say this and um, it's equal here, um, the content type and application and JSON. So uh, we can try to be go here dash t. So it will be equal here or um, data. So you just need to be giving here your data and then just you have to be copy this and I go over here and just give it this and then um, you will be see here um, that you we are trying to be fuzzing here on the password. So if we can change in here with this fuzz and then it will be doing brute first attack here. So um, we don't want to be doing here um, uh, at the login page on the 401 as um, to which one is um, not giving us to here and this status access that needed. So uh, we can display this filter as like that. So um, it's giving us a here look like nothing. Um, we have no success to be um, creating here the password or anything like that. So it means we are doing here something wrong. And um, let's see, maybe we are doing something wrong. The content type look like correct. And then dash D, um, login ID on AB unintended that will nap um, we didn't change it here first hmm let's see um, so um, we have to be changed with a password right so we are sending here wrong one maybe Okay, so we successfully get here a b um, um sending us here status code is two hundred, and that makes look like um it means our it says our different things here. So then after you came came over here and give it like that, and then we are successfully get here again um to login page, and I give this password and the login one more time. 
So and as you see, as you can see here, we have successful login as AB. And if you go here on Jenkins and see Adam, sorry, and you will be getting here. Here, um, it's giving us a password. So uh, it says or this this is the password, and then you can use it here for something. Um, let's create it here for the uh, password as like here. And we already got it here, the password, and the list thinking what we can do right now um, here. Um, let's check in for, um, we are already got it here, too many IP addresses like that. So for example, this will be equal here or um, DC, and um, there is running car, too many things like, um, um, then like SMB, right? Uh, but before I do this, I want to be go my um, etc and host file, and then add this my um, unintended that will nap and dc that unintended um that will nap. that's great so i think we can do here right now crack map exec um uh, for um with this password and with this um or um new username and um i would i just need to be changing here ip addresses and then after that all you will be seeing here on this login is successfully and then you have an access on the net login system wall and IPC dollar is over here, but it's not gonna be this way. So it's not will be here a correct way. Um, you can try here SSH. Um, let's see. Um, can we try to be get it here? Um, with AB unintended that will nap, and then you have to be give it the IP addresses here. Um, the with this password, we will be successfully login here. Um, I'm just trying to be copy it and uh, paste it here um, with this password. I hope we can success successfully log in here as an SSH. And then let's see. So it says or you have got it here um no login success so let's try with this um ip addresses right now with the six one and um giving this password and then uh, let's see can we log in here so we are successful login as a here with the web and um it's working here successfully and then if it can check in here there is no flag um then we say here um, um it's work for um web so let's checking for the last ip addresses if it's gonna be work same thing uh, for seven and then yes um give this um also for this then let's see um via over the here successful login as a here at backup um there's a um two actually um um, SSS shall we get it here um, successfully so I'm trying to be understand that right now on um, which one will be correct one for us so for example um, to after you run it here um, on the ID and you will be see here you are on the docker right now so as a docker domain runs per default as root so we can spawn when a container break out to get root on the box so if it says or after ID this one so it means you can run it here as a docker so which command will be give you us here on docker page so first of all you need to be say docker image and if it will be um listed you for all docker image here right now then after you if um get it here docker image like that so you will be um successfully get it here um to be shell um, the, for example, um, let's see, docker run dash it and dash v. Um, we have to be given here host. Um, let's give you host. And um, we already know here there's running Python and on this right now. So let's give this and um, give this Python version as like here. And then um, giving our ch root and then um, host and say here bash so and you have a successful login here as a root right now but it's definitely you're at the docker so um it will be giving us a here um 
to be with the after dark image with this python and with this python um the first number i get here um id with the roots but we are on the docker right now so what we can do here we can do here successfully user binary bash um on the opt and shell so let's actually save it as a shell um then show root as a root so we are doing it we are doing it on opt and shell and give it your search mode and then um, 4755 on opt that shell so ls l a if you send checking here on the opt and you will be see here is on the shell and it's creating by a um to be root so after you exit here and go for opt and you will be see here there's an the shell so let's run in here the shell and then you will be see here and get a successfully root um at the successful and we got it here flag.txt so it's, it looks like a really easy right yeah i don't think so <laughs> i think so it, it was really easy right now um but there is for sure you need to be do here more so the, for example um you can do here um anything new so we are just getting here um shell root as the on this this ip addresses and those are look like still um not actually um, rooted yet, right? So um, I we have we can do it here right now. Um, different things for to be rooted it. So um, as you remember before, we uh, successfully get a here shell as a web, and uh, we can do here exit right now for what, and then SSH for the six one, and with the same password. And then uh, let's go. Let's check in here what's going on on the web tab. So at the web tab, maybe we are successfully get here different things, and uh, we can do them as um to be successfully, or anything new. Um, we can get too many things after that's all. Then um sync this um to with the different way. Um, it's not important maybe for you. Um, but could be uh, important for someone. Um, to be um, how we can actually uh, understand it it's to be is it um, important or not important so for example um, let's see here ID and then we see here um, there is no but if we can try to be opt and we saw here there is no shell for us um, because we are working here right now with this um, um, different IP addresses right and then we have a new access here for to be checking here the for the next one um, as they can successfully so um there's look like no success as a get a shell here as a sudo um, for example give this after the be sudo dash l um, we cannot run it here so um let's try to be go again or different um, or the shell on the back hop and the get shell here as a root um, maybe we can do here something different um, to get it here success full to be shell so for example if you after check it here and you will get it here FTP and then it says or there's a domain backup um cat domain backup is it um ls la okay so can we try to be logging here um domain backup and it's giving us here actually some sample file here so um I'm thinking right now is it maybe crackable for us and then we can um, use it for some um, credential to be do it um, let's start in here Python listener if we can do um, does it look like we can do here right now right so is it just for on this FTP maybe so let's do um, can we do um, get the shell here as an FTP uh, maybe we can find it here from some FTP credits, so let's list visiting here um, to root and go for maybe scripts and uh, get here Docker Compose and that uh, YML. So um, maybe we can find it here um, to root password, but it's not look like I'm um, successfully. So let's go here and maybe here an FTP 
no here any FTP. Um, I'm just thinking here. There was there there um somewhere I got um on the opt FTP CD Docker source. Um, there's a some zip file we got, but I think there was a somewhere to be um. I don't think so. There was um, somewhere here I successfully understanding here. So there was no Samba backup, but I wonder um, can we actually um, access it here without send it as a um, to be user. So let's see. Um, let's checking my notes right now. Okay, so we can do here on the opt. Um, go for container so nothing here FTP on the domain and backup so um, we actually get here something different so um, can we access it here here right now CD FTP CD domain backup oh it's giving us a here um, access they need it right um, so I think we have right now we need here um, sending us successfully or tap then we can do here um, so let's go back and um, alt shell dash p so cd fdp domain backup so um we just need to be um try to be uploaded as i'm um, successfully so let's actually use it here as a slash pass maybe we'll be successful um to be get here um and log in with successfully it maybe we can um success here somewhere okay um let's see what we can use ssh dash pass dash p um give it here this password and um, we can do scp um, abby and um, intended vulnap right so we are doing this for this IP addresses actually um, which one we used it before let me see SSH we didn't use it here SSH actually oh, it's for to last one right okay for seven right um what we're actually trying to be do here, um, we need to be do first um, sending is somewhere because they have no accesses. So um, cd opt and go for FTP, cd domain backup. Um, before do this, let's get the shell here. FTP and I go for domain backup and then let's CP this um, somewhere. So, what we can actually copy this and um, get shell successfully. Hmm, can we send it on TMP? Yeah, um, there's actually a SM, Samba backup. Can we do here right now as the same thing? Unintended VNAP, um, which files we are trying to be get. Um, let's give this. 
Oh, we are not work with SSH pass. Okay, so we can do here with um, um can we actually use it here cd on tmp python 3-m http server we can run it here any python listener i actually remember it to be there's um to be really easiest way to be do it on the one maybe um let's try to be get it with widget I'm not sure it's not gonna be work let's try um we are trying to be get here on the add one port we are trying to be get it okay so um um yeah so it was like something like that we are get it here and then we successfully double on here right now here um let's see what we can do here um maybe we can do um go for private and then after here some l lbd and then it says there's there's something different and you can see like that and but in important things to here you have to be you know it's um sam dot lbd so um it's really important to be um understanding it and then you will be um checking for um smldb um that d for um the samba wiki and the some the um how we can actually extract it and the uh, what kind of command you can use it here then you will be see here if you um what about if you cat it it the for example i'm trying to be give you here um same thing um let's see i was using here lbd search um lbd search right so i was using here lbd search i'm not sure why i'm not using right now so um it's need to be working here actually um let's see sudo opt install lbd tools um i was working here with lbd tools what's wrong it's actually i'm not sure what's wrong here right now LDB, yeah, it's on the LDB. It's so LB, yeah. So um, I was go here at private and then um, LBD search, not LDB. Um, it's LDB search, right? Like that. So um, it's gonna be giving here Unicode P P double D. It's actually meaning here's a password, and um, is it using here um base sixty four and hex four um extract it. So um we can need to be go here on cyber chef. Um let's go. And then we have to be um sending as a from base 64 to, uh, to be equal here hex. Right? And then need to be give it here on um, the none and it will be or to be md4 and nev um the hash is over here. So it's already nev hash and then um, we can right now on uh, um, successful login here with um, uh, with the administrator here actually so um, so for example uh, you can use it here in packet to, um, 
change your passwords on unintended that will nap and then you have to be giving here an administrator and give it your hash and then new pass will be equal to which pass you actually choose here so um then you will be understanding here right now and your password is right now is logging um changing successfully um so um we are sending all um root part with successfully changing the password for root um then um it will be um new password for administrator right now on this um dc unintended dot vulnap so um it means you can try to be using for this um to be logging here somewhere the for example um let's see um smb client um for example you can try to be two and dash v uh, for example on the, it will be you, you can change it here unintended the full map and then dash u and then uh, administrator will be go or new user and new client right and after you give it here this one you can actually use it here your ntlm hash and dash pv um dash nt that hash and uh, here you just need to be give it here your IP addresses like that so um need to be give it here um to be home name and it will be say our setup failed status login login fair huh so um have no access here to be login as here but we can try here um to read to be new password or new password so um let's see dash u and it will be asking here's a password here and which password you actually give uh for example we already give you here um this password and then to, it says our bad network name right now and uh, we have a no access here to be get here on the um root part um let's see smb client dash l and um giving or to main controller so i'll be so here there's a home and just this is just have um admin access here and um let's see um we have to be give it all username and the for sure need to be changed here um dash l so um we are successfully gathered here um to be with this all new passwords and then uh, gather here um root.txt and uh, another important thing to here so um we are successfully rooted here um to be our domain controller and I'm um, gathered here root.txt and thank you for watching this video.